Thanks for watching TCM. I'm Alicia Malone, and I'm having a great time presenting some creepy films for your macabre viewing pleasure. And right now, we're about to watch Eye of the Devil from 1966, with a screenplay by Dennis Murphy and Robin Estridge, based on Estridge's novel. And Robin Estridge had written the novel, titled Day of the Arrow, under the pseudonym Philip Lorraine, and originally the film adaptation's title was Thirteen. Perhaps that was a portent of what was about to happen because this production was unlucky, especially for Kim Novak. She had been cast as the lead character Catherine, a mother of two and the wife of a Marquis Philippe, played by David Niven. At the start of the story, Philippe leaves their family home for his vineyard after being informed that his vines have again borne no fruit. And Catherine follows him, but what she witnesses on the estate makes her scared and confused. Novak had filmed almost all of her part when she suffered an injury that meant she had to pull out of production completely. The producers, Martin Ranzerhoff and John Kelly, had to scramble to find a replacement, at first considering Julie Andrews, before settling on Deborah Carr. Luckily, Carr was available and was very professional about reshooting a part already played by a different actress. These production changes also required rewrites of the script, and Terry Southern, who had worked on the adaptation, also had to drop out, being replaced by Dennis Murphy and the writer of the source material, Robin Estridge. And this film also went through four different directors – starting with Sidney J. Fury, who was replaced by Arthur Hiller, who was replaced by Michael Anderson, who was replaced by J. Lee Thompson. Somehow Thompson completed the filming and the title was changed before it was released without any real marketing around it, but now, all these years later, we can appreciate this as a chilling occult movie filled with an unlikely cast of great actors. So let's watch from 1966, also with Flora Robson, Emlyn Williams, Donald Pleasance, David Hemmings, and Sharon Tate in her first credited film role. This is Eye of the Devil. What an ending. Eye of the Devil wasn't met with much fanfare when it was released, but now it's become a cult favourite with its intriguing story, stark black and white photography and innovative editing, as well as the performance of actors like Sharon Tate and Deborah Carr. But originally Kim Novak was set to star as Catherine and apparently some of the long shots used in the final cut still feature Novak instead of Carr. Carr had come on board at the last minute when Novak suffered an injury, and although much of the film then had to be reshot, David Niven thought it was for the best. Niven said that Novak had confessed to him that she didn't think she was right for the role, and Niven agreed, thinking that Carr was better suited to play a marquise who was a mother of two. Niven was also happy to be opposite Carr again after making separate tables together, saying he always attributed his Oscar win for that movie to Deborah Carr, whom he said made him look good. Okay, our happy Halloween-a-thon on TCM will continue after this break with Dana Andrews as a professor who travels to London and gets involved with a supernatural investigation. So stay with us.